Happy Saturday to everybody. Uh, today I'm going to uh, pop open a Bush beer. Uh, it was introduced in 1955 um, as Bush Bavarian. And then later in 1979 they changed the name to Bush. And here we are today. Um, 25 ounce can, Bush beer. I'm not sure what the difference is when I bought uh, this one. Right next to it was the Bush can with all the H's on it. So I guess maybe that's just a promotion deal to go along with the commercial. So, anywho, um, the can still looks pretty decent. The label, I kind of partial to the old style. Um, from like 85 on to and then the 90s but this one's okay <clears throat> um whoa, that was cold it is uh, 4.3 percent alcohol by volume and it is of course one of their cheaper brands the economy brand uh but surprisingly i just read that it is the second highest uh seller for anheuser-busch so of course, I'm assuming Bud Light is number one. I didn't look, but get this open. And of course, I'm going to take my church key here and pop it open because I always spill these things. And they use... Um, American grown hops and a mix of um, imported hops along with malt and corn. And when I read that, I was kind of surprised because I thought Budweiser was the only one that had corn in it, but all this time I guess I've been thinking wrong. Let's go ahead and give us a quick pour here. A lot of head. We're looking at uh, two and a half, three finger head. There's not a lot of carbonation in there, which kind of surprises me. <clears throat> not expecting much. I've had this a million times, but not a big smell or a big aroma, I should say. It was like your typical adjunct beer. I do kind of smell the malts so though. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, This is definitely one you want to drink cold, very cold. I get a little bit of a metallic taste in the back. It does finish dry. Uh, first couple of Drinks probably aren't going to be a good taste. Had some sour cream and onion potato chips here right before it started. But it's refreshing. Uh, typical float trip, lawnmower beer, barbecue beer. Uh, carbonation still pretty slow, small bubbles. Pretty nice lacing though. Things around there. You know, it's kind of watery. Definitely pretty clear. Um, it's clearer than Budweiser. And I'd say not quite as clear as Bud Light, but I don't really drink Bud Light ever, unless I'm desperate. And that's the only thing 
that's in front of me. But, you know, it's average. Um, I would drink this. Oh, excuse me. I would drink Budweiser first. Um, I would probably grab this second, to be honest with you. And then maybe... Uh, well, actually, you know, I, I say that? Bush Ice I had, and I really enjoyed that. It doesn't taste like your normal ice beers. It's... At least last time I had it, it was really enjoyable. So I would probably go Budweiser. Um, then this is just regular beer. I'm not counting the repeals or the uh, signature series. Um, so I would go Budweiser, Bush, and then Bush Ice. This would be my second Anheuser Busch product I would go to. But one of the beers I do drink during uh, while I, while I bowl. Now I'm getting into it. It's tasting a little better. I don't get that metallic taste anymore. Uh, so I don't know what that was. <clears throat> this goes down pretty good. I did want to share something with you though. I had this last night. It's only in uh, only in Pennsylvania right now. Lucky Streak beer, made by Anheuser Busch. Um, it is. Um, I'm guessing it's just a test market thing. See how it sells. Uh, it was pretty clear. I'm gonna say it's more of a blonde ale. Because uh, I think that's what is considered as an. Uh, I think it was a blonde ale, um, but it's definitely clear. Had it really cold. Had a pretty cool logo on it. Um, it was clean, refreshing, um, and apparently it's pretty cheap, like ten bucks for a thirty pack. Um, so I'm hoping it comes, it sells well and comes out because it was definitely enjoyable. I kind of like that. It's kind of like an old style um, emblem there. So, keep an eye out for that if, if they uh, release it. See if it has anything in here special. It is 4.2% uh, alcohol by volume. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to throw that in there. So anyway, back to the bush. Clean, refreshing, little carbonation, good lacing. It's relatively cheap. Um, I don't know what it is in a 12 pack or anything, but this was a dollar fifty nine, I believe, at the gas station. So, you know, I would recommend it. Just if you're watching a football game or you know, just drinking heavily or drinking more than one beer. So, um, give it a shot. It's good. Again, 4.3% alcohol by volume, so it's it's not going to knock your socks off the first one or two. Uh, so give it a try if you haven't. Y'all have a good night. I might be back with another uh, a little later. Have a good night.